Good morning. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. QuakePrediction.com it is 8.42 in the morning on Saturday, January 8th, 2022. 2022. Saturday, January 8th, 8.42 in the morning, um, January 8th, 2022. Let's take a look at the uh, forecast for uh, different locations around the world. We have a warning for uh, San Francisco Bay. First, let's start with the uh, quakes that have occurred here. We had a uh, 4.8 on late on the 5th and early on the 6th of January out here in East Central California, 4.8 and a 4.6 about the same time up in Northwest California, uh, late on the 5th and early on the 6th, right there in Northwest California. Uh, also a 3.5 hit here, uh, Northwest of Los Angeles, late on the 7th and early on the 8th of January. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. This is our latest warning for the San Francisco Bay. Um, we've been talking about this since the 28th or 29th of December. A large spike in risk on the 28th to 29th. We have another real strong spike in risk in the San Francisco Bay today, January 8th. A 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay. Let's take a look at the uh, risk graph here. And uh, you can see this is uh, the quake that hit on uh, late on the 5th it was produced by this spike in risk here uh, early on the 6th. And uh, excuse me. This is the risk coming up here on the 8th today and late in the 8th and into the 9th. So look, looking for a strong earthquake in San Francisco Bay today, the 8th or January 9th. Up in Eureka, uh, the 4.6 hit up in uh, Petrolia and Eureka, California, late on the 5th into the 6th on this spike in risk. This uh, peak is coming up today on the 8th, and this one here is on the 9th, and then another one on the 11th. <clears throat> I still think this, uh, this uh, spike in risk, the risk is going to be stronger, it's higher, uh, in the San Francisco Bay, and that's where this risk is right here um, today into tomorrow. Coalinga Parkfield, which is in West Central California. This is that spike in risk for the uh, quake on the, uh, in East Central California, 4.8. And this is coming up here today on the 8th of January. And then the risk diminishes after that. So uh, once again, risk is very high in the San Francisco Bay and to Coalinga. So San Francisco, Bay, San Francisco Bay to Coalinga area is the highest risk area. Los Angeles, uh, this is that spike in risk, the 4.8. And then the 3.5 hit uh, late last night, right there in that spike in risk. And we have this one coming up at uh, 10 in the morning, 88% risk in the Los Angeles area. Otherwise it gets quiet after that. So it looks like this quake will hit up in the San Francisco Bay area. Down in El Centro, we had that spike in risk for the 4.8 in East Central California. Then the risk has been diminishing after that. Uh, the highest risk again, if you look at the difference between this and that, you can see that much higher risk here on the 8th and the 9th in the San Francisco Bay. Quite a difference between that and uh, this. So we're looking for a stronger earthquake in the San Francisco Bay right in the San Francisco Bay uh, today, January 8th. And Anchorage, we have a strong peak here on the morning of the 9th, late in the 8th into the morning of the 9th. And should see a significant earthquake on that uh, spike in risk late on uh, today into tomorrow. Athens, Greece, we had a uh, spike in risk here uh, late in the 6th and er early into the 7th. Let's see if... Um, what hit over there at that time. We had this 4.4 down here uh, on the 8th. Let's see, well, it's quite a ways south of Athens, but 
pretty quiet otherwise right now in the Athens area. Uh, we had this uh, 5.1 earthquake on the on the 5th. That was on, on the 5th of uh, January, right about in this area here. So um, Japan, significant earthquake. 5.0 earthquake is likely in the Shizuoka area. Izu, I think these are the Izu Islands here, southeast of Tokyo. Shizuoka area here. This is area could produce a, uh, a 5.0 earthquake or larger during the next uh, 24 hours in Japan. Once again, we're looking for a significant earthquake in California today. Here's that spike in risk coming up the 8th into the 9th. And you can check these uh, graphs out at uh, quakeprediction.com. Here is the spike in risk for that quake in East Central California, 4.8. This is a much stronger peak coming up on uh, January 8th and 9th, today into tomorrow. So look for that in California. And it looks like uh, this quake will be at least a, excuse me, at least a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake in the San Francisco Bay. We're getting a lot, a lot of different uh, types of signals uh, coming in, not just this forecast model, but many others that are pointing to something uh, strong in the San Francisco Bay on the 8th into the 9th. So we'll see what happens. It's going to be very interesting during the next uh, 24 hours or so. Thanks again to the 187,000 followers on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And we appreciate your support. 17 years of research and uh, getting more accurate every day. It's not easy, but we're working on it. Thank you so much, and we will talk to you after the San Francisco earthquake. Thank you so much.